In this video we're going to talk all about metabolism, how to speed it up, what you can do to help yourself get a, a better more active metabolism and a few hints and tips to help you along the way. So I hope you enjoy. <coughs> My name is Mark and I'm here to help you live a better, healthier life. My goal is to help as many people as I can get into shape and improve their quality of life. Now remember, if you like this video, please do hit the like button. And without further ado, let's jump right in. So, somebody's metabolism is different from somebody else's. It varies on lots of things in terms of what um, you know, your composition of your body is, fat, muscle, or the rest of it. And we'll talk more about that in a second. But the fact is that if your metabolism is a little bit faster, it will burn a few more calories. Therefore, it's a good idea if you can to do some things to actually try and speed up your metabolism a little bit. And I'm not suggesting, and nothing I suggest in this channel will ever be to go daft on it. But there are some things you can do to speed up your metabolism, and we'll go through them. But before we do, what is your metabolism? So effectively, it's how much energy your body burns every minute, every hour, every day. That means that it's a good indication of how many calories you should be eating in order to actually stay the same weight or reduce your weight, etc. There are quite a few things you can do to change that, but there are some things that you can't change at all when it comes to your metabolism. So there are various factors that actually affect how fast or slow your metabolism is. Uh, there's genetics, there's weight, there's your age, there's your diet, your exercise and your lifestyle. Now effectively from those we can't do anything about our age and our genetics. Those unfortunately you are stuck with. No changing those whatsoever. But the other things in terms of your weight, your diet, exercise and lifestyle, those are things that you can make small changes to in order to try and speed up your metabolism and get it working a little bit faster and therefore helping you lose a little bit more weight as you go through. So the first thing I wanted to talk about uh, on this in terms of those tips is the regular exercise. The simple fact is that as you move, your body uses more calories than if it's just sitting still and in a comatose state uh, or sitting staring at a computer screen. If you're up and around and moving, your body naturally has to burn more energy to make you move. And one of the things with that as well is that in terms of um, your muscles and everything else, um, the simple fact is that lean muscle burns more calories than fat does. So for every pound of muscle you have, it burns somewhere around the 14 calories per hour just from having that muscle, just for it to be there. Whereas having the same pound of fat, it's not the same obviously, but having a pound of fat only burns two or three calories per hour. So the simple fact is that the more muscle you have, the more calories you'll burn without doing anything else. That's before you throw in exercise. And what that means is that if you are doing not a lot, you know, in terms of you know sitting at a computer, not moving very much, um, you are going to be developing you know a fatter body composition like I have done over the years. Um, so any movement is good. I'm not saying you need to go and you know jump out and start doing you know hit high intensity direct training workouts. Obviously, the more calories you burn, the better. But simply going for a walk, doing more than you were before is great when it comes to exercise. And if you can start building that up so you get some muscles being built at the same time, then even better. But the simple fact is that more is better, but if you can lift weights and actually do some weight type exercise, even if it's body weight, even if it's like I'm trying to do in terms of push-ups, oh I was before, <laughs> before my, my neck, um, and I'll get back to it. But even if it's just body weight exercises, those things will build muscle and muscle burns more calories, which means that your actual uh, metabolism will increase in terms of how many calories it's burning per hour. So that's number one. I think we've all heard 
so often that sleep is really important to losing weight and really important to your metabolism. But I don't think I've heard that often exactly why it's important. Everybody says, oh, you must have a good night's sleep. Uh, you must sleep more. It's really good for you. Um, and it's down to two different hormones that the body releases. One is called leptin, uh, which is all about um, how full you feel. Um, and the other one is gerolin. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right, gerolin, um, which is uh, to do with how hungry you are. And the simple fact is that if you have bad sleep or your sleep is interrupted and everything else, um, the leptin levels drop, which is how full you're feeling, so therefore you start to feel hungrier and less full. Um, and that increases the ghrelin hormone, which then makes you feel hungrier because you are not as full. A good night's sleep helps balance those out. It makes sure that those are more reasonable levels, um, stops you feeling uh, quite as hungry because you are feeling fuller. And it is one of those things that, uh, you know, over the years I've been told thousands of times, hundreds of thousands of times, that sleep's really important. Um, but nobody's ever particularly said why. And so those two hormone levels are one of the reasons why sleep is really good. Obviously there's a mental health aspect and everything else, so it's not just the one. But for me it was really quite useful knowing that there is actually a reason behind it, not just you'll feel better if you have a sleep. It really does overnight uh, and while you're sleeping your, your hormone levels are rebalanced effectively and leave you feeling um, fuller or hungrier, you know, all the rest of it. So sleep really is important and a good night's sleep will stand you in good stead to help you reduce your snacking and everything else but also increase your metabolism in terms of um, um, those those hormone levels and the rest and everything else to recover from any exercise you've done uh, and it really will help you boost your metabolism so a good night's sleep is essential the next one there in terms of speeding up your metabolism is water and, and this is twofold so water is essential for our life absolutely um, it hydrates the skin it hydrates the body you know that's all um, great uh, and necessary um, but water is also the key component in your body breaking up fat. Effectively, and I've done a different video on this, uh, which I'll try and link somewhere. Essentially, when fat is broken up by the body, uh, it is not you know, um, put through down the toilet in, in sort of waste, or a very small percentage of it is. Most of your, um, your fat that's broken up is expelled as carbon dioxide. But it needs the water to come in in order for the body to be able to release the energy with carbon dioxide. And so water is key to losing weight. It's also key for your body to actually be running at optimal in terms of um, you know, how the cells are working, how the energy um, system is working, and your metabolism. Um, so if you are dehydrated, your metabolism will slow down um, and cause all sorts of problems, as well as the body having uh, challenges when it comes to breaking up fat molecules that it's stored. So for many reasons water is essential uh, in this travel, um, you know, in this journey of weight loss. Um, from the splitting up of the uh, the fatty cells when the body is using the energy to your cells working optimally, optimally I can't speak properly, optimally um, and actually your metabolism being at its peak that it can be. So that is a fundamental thing when it comes to to weight loss you need water in order for the body to break down the fat and your body needs water for the cells to be hydrated and to be running at decent levels when it comes to your metabolism so one of the factors that could be if you've got slow metabolism is a lack of water in your diet I don't know about anybody else but certainly there have been years in my life where I've drank more fizzy juice than anything else and yes it's mostly water but it's got so much other crud in there, um, tasty crud I have to say, but still it's not what you're looking for when you are trying to speed up your metabolism if you're thinking it's running slowly. So water, essential in this journey. Now this one might be a little bit contentious because obviously there's a big craze at the minute going for, for intermittent fasting and OMAD and everything else in terms of where you restrict your, your meals and your calorie intake. Um, and that may well, well work for some people fantastically, and if it does, keep on doing it. 
But generally speaking, in, in order to maintain your metabolism and actually keep it running at its optimal efficiency, we need to eat smaller, more regular meals to keep your meta metabolism high. Now, it still needs to be calorie controlled and you need to be in a deficit if you're losing weight, etc. But in terms of keeping the, the, the fire going with your metabolism, small regular meals are the way to actually keep that metabolism running fairly high. Um, you know, as soon as you go into kind of starvation mode, um, the metabolism has a sort of a thing called metabolic adaptation, where if you are starving yourself, your body readjusts and says, I know that we're not getting enough calories, but we're still going to store some of that because uh, we can't keep running at these levels. Um, so what we're trying to do is avoid that. What we're trying to do is maintain your metabolism going, knowing that it's going to get a next you know, amount of energy in the form of food, and it's going to come at regular intervals, which then keeps your metabolism going full pelt. Like I said, maybe a little bit contentious. Um, you know, I've seen great results from, from intermittent fasting and from, from OMAD, um, and for some people that is fantastic. But for a lot of people, that's something that they're not comfortable with or, or not happy with. And so eating smaller, regular meals and putting snacks in between so that you're eating on a kind of consistent pace um, will actually help your metabolism stay high. Okay, and the last of the kind of big ones is caffeine. Caffeine can increase um, your metabolism by 3 to 11%. And you'll notice that it's a massive um, you know, ingredient in the sort of fat burners and pre-workout things you're you know, given for, for before gym etc I'm not suggesting I really am not suggesting that you should be drinking coffee by the gallon and getting the jitters after it but certainly if you are going to go for a walk in the morning or do some exercise or go to the gym or whatever your form of exercise is you know having a cup of coffee before you do it will get your metabolism kick-started and will actually maybe help you perform a little bit better in terms of your time your energy levels etc to get that workout done you know whether it's a walk a gym a sport whatever it is so please don't think i'm recommending that you should be drinking you know three gallons of coffee during the day because that will just give you the jitters and make you feel lousy but certainly having a cup of coffee in the morning before you go for your walk or whatever it is will help get your metabolism going get it kick-started and kind of get you on the right uh, level for that day um, use it in moderation be very careful, read the labels if you are taking any sort of fat burners or anything else because most of the ingredients are caffeine related um, and so therefore if you're having coffee and that kind of thing that can make, um, you know, that can be unpleasant for you. So please do take advice on that. But certainly what I'm saying is having a cup of coffee before you go and do um, you know, your walk or the gym or whatever in the morning is not going to hurt you. Having eight to ten cups, um, you know, may start to hurt you depending on your body size and everything else. Um, so please do use that lightly. But certainly having a little bit of a caffeine nudge before you go and do something is not going to be a bad thing and will help you kickstart your uh, metabolism. So we have talked through there, um, you know, quite a few things. Uh, you know, five things in terms of you know what you need to do to speed up your metabolism. Like I said at the start, you can't do anything about your genetics and your age. You can work on your weight, as I am trying to work on my weight. Um, but the fact is that if you, if I lose the fat, I'm losing that the, the fat that's burning. So I need to, to lose weight and put on some muscle, as well as cut, cutting my calories slightly. Um, but I need to make sure that I don't cut my calories too low, because then your body adapts to that, um, and then you basically struggle to lose the weight after that until you get to a critical point um, your diet you can work on uh, in terms of um, you know having a little bit of caffeine making sure you've got water in your diet uh, and making sure that those things are, are happening and in terms of the lifestyle piece you know you can choose to eat on regular smaller amounts or not um, you can choose to have um, food that is going to keep you satiated for longer and keep you those those hormone levels in terms of feeling full for longer means that you are less hungry so therefore less likely to snack so you know, your proteins and everything else will keep you hungry for longer 
whereas eating a chocolate bar will give you that zap of energy which uh, is great um, but 20 minutes half an hour later you, you realize you probably should have had something more substantial for your lunch or whatever than a chocolate bar um, and in terms of exercise starting off if you're on the couch and not doing any exercise any exercise is good and try and increase that and if you can get to the point where you can increase your heart rate and actually get the blood pumping and everything else and even add in you know weights whether they're body weights or barbells dumbbells resistance bands whatever it is um, and start building the lean muscle that'll be even better for you and burn more calories without you having to do anything else at all um, because once you've got that pound extra pound of lean muscle then suddenly that lean muscle is working for you all day every day every hour of the day burning more calories as you go through so i really do hope that has been helpful for people in terms of how to actually get your metabolism to speed itself up a lot of people uh, do suffer from from slow metabolisms and like i said the genetics and the age you can't do anything about but there are lots of other things you can do something about so i hope you enjoyed please do hit the like button and leave me a comment and i will speak to you in the next video